we found Godzilla! The restaurant behind me is the super famous Funji restaurant. It is all about ramen and they have one dish in particular that I really want to try that is like deep ramen. Oh my god, in Japan there are so many delicious places but so much wait time. Let me show you. We are already in the second part of the line but as you can see there is still a lot of people left waiting. This one has been quite smooth actually around like 30 minutes uh, so people wait like an hour or even more. The restaurant next door seems like it's also famous and you have to wait two hours to get in. So if you're coming to Japan, you have two options. This kind of super famous place that you see all over the internet that has a long queue but seems to be worth it. Or you can just try some new places that might not be that popular and you might get surprised. I have been trying a lot of those ones and believe me, you can find really good options as well. Anyways, go back to the queue and let's try those ramen. Barriga llena, corazón contento. Look at this line still on. It's almost 3 p.m. and actually the restaurant closed at 3. I don't know if you guys know, but in Japan it's very common to take like a break between the day. So they usually close around 3 or 4 and they open again around 5 or 6. So if you want to check this place, it has to be lunch or dinner exclusively. It's actually really good. You have the normal like ramen that it has this very concentrated soup it tastes really good and then you have the one that is the most popular that is the dipping noodles so they give you some noodles on a side and then they give you like the concentrate sauce and then you just dip it in and it was really nice to find really big chunks of pork inside that sauce so it was perfect to complement it also came with an egg and they were very patient and very nice even if they are with such a pressure, they have so much line. And then when you get inside, you have a line of a line of people waiting for them to finish. So I think that the downside is that you feel like you have to finish to eat as fast as possible because like people is just waiting behind you and you are like quite hungry. <laughs> but even though, I think that is a really fun experience to have, uh, especially if you like these kind of places that are so popular. Again, if not, you have a lot of options all around the city that you can try. It might be better, who knows? All depends on what you like. Anyways, we're gonna keep exploring this amazing neighborhood of Shinjuku. <laughs> If you are looking for a panoramic view of the city, we recommend you to visit the 45th floor of the Metropolitan Government Offices in Shinjuku that offers amazing views of the city from 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. and the admission is totally free. have the information you have QR codes that you can scan like on a clear day if you're lucky you can get to see Fuji from here oh I think I have to be very lucky 
still the view looks beautiful. in Kabukicho and I'm super excited right now I'm trying to record this because we are looking for the Godzilla Hotel and I think that we might found it oh, this oh. is so cool check I it out I see the claws we found Godzilla <laughs> So this is a Godzilla hotel, it's all with the Godzilla thematic and every hour from 12 to 8 the Godzilla roars and you can see even like a sign effect and they played the original music for the first movies of Godzilla. I'm not a Godzilla fan but as you can see I'm super excited. This is one of the coolest fields that I have ever seen. <laughs> Nighttime must be Me really too. cold. Yeah, okay. is it all bright? Do yeah, you see actually, the snow coming. The snow. I think that we're gonna be around by the time so we can compare. Now we're gonna check the cafe. Right? Yeah, let's go up to the cafe. Wow, so cool! Let's check it out. <laughs> go to the hotel terrace that is where the head of Godzilla is and if you are a guest from the hotel you can get in the terrace like you don't have to pay for anything and it's completely free included on your hotel but if you are from the outside you have to buy some drink or something from the cafe that is in the terrace and prices are quite expensive and unfortunately there is not like an actual tables and chairs like where the Godzilla head is so it's not that you can enjoy it that much uh, you just stand there you just see the show and then you just have to go back inside to enjoy the rest of your drink so yeah it depends on you of course if you stay in the hotel it will be amazing for you to enjoy it but I think that we just gonna appreciate it from the outside this time and now I'm gonna take the shot it's gonna it's gonna roar in three minutes so we can compare how it looks from nighttime and daytime, but I think the nighttime might be the best. So cool! <laughs> definitely, definitely better at nighttime. I mean, you can see all the mist and the light, and the eyes actually get light up too. Now we're just gonna enjoy around. There's so many places to like explore so many bars, restaurants, and Kabukicho Tower is one that I really want to check it out because it has VR, games, there is just a whole floor of Isakaya, so yeah, let's check it out! You're dying not to work, work until you die, you know that's true Have you thought it through? Cause oh, you love to tell me what to do Say no! Master of the crane. 
so let's see if that works. Also, if you guys are wondering, you can pay here with your transportation card. You just have to top it up, and that's it. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. This is so nice. So they help you to put it in a little more like a fair spot. To end the night, nothing better than visiting the famous Golden Guy. More than 200 tiny bars with hundreds of years and stories to tell, which made this one one of the most visited areas of the city. to explore this super famous area that is the Golden Guy here in Shinjuku and I heard so much about it because there are so many alleys with very beautiful old bars where everyone seems to be crumped while they are drinking a beer and at the end of the night seems like you can make some friends so it's a cool concept if you want to try it most of the places who charge 1000 yen fee for enter some of them give you snacks as a exchange of the cover some other charge just 500 yen or some other don't even charge any Anything, but those ones are the most packed of course drinks are around 600 700 yen minimum and then you go all the way up <laughs> you also have some places that looks a little bigger um, so yeah you can find different options so if you are in town if you want to make friends if you want to have maybe some drinks um, even if you are in your own as I say these places are so cramped that you're gonna end up chatting with people from all over the place and I think that it's a really fun experience let me know in the comments if you would like to try it 
it or if you would prefer a bar with a little more space, you know, like personal space area. I would love to know. <laughs>